I always am using uh, iOS devices, Android, and for work, I've uh, I have got a um, I've got a telephone. I've got uh, an Android. It's a Moto G4 uh, from Lenovo. That's uh, what I'm using for work. But for my for my own private use, I use an iPhone 6 Plus. Um, but I've always been using Android tablets as well. Now, I had been using a Nexus 7 original 2013 tablet, um, which came originally with KitKat 4, I believe. But it started to update and update and update, and eventually it ended up with uh, Android 5.1, which basically rendered the little 7-inch tablet useless. Completely useless. It was very unresponsive. Um, it, yeah, it, it was just not working anymore. Um, I got it cheap back. Well, not really. Yeah, I got it cheaper back in the day, but it was like 240 euros, I believe. I think something or 149 euros, something like that. But it was a very affordable uh, entry level Android tablet that really worked great, and I used it a lot. But uh, a while ago, I had to retire it, and I got a replacement for it, uh, which was actually quite cheap also. I got a very good deal on one of these um, Deal Best or Best Gear, Gear Best websites or something. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just buying the stuff myself. But uh, I've, I've read some reviews on this tablet and it's a very cheap tablet. And it's actually intended for the Chinese market uh, because there's there's a counterpart uh, uh, eight inch tablet. It's an eight, 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 eight inch tablet with an IPS screen. Uh, but let me show you and I'll talk about it. So this is what it is all about. It's uh, it's the Tab 3 8 Plus. All right, so it's the Lenovo, Lenovo Tab 3 8 Plus. It's actually quite a new tablet. It was released in 2017. And this actually, this data is actually courtesy of GSM Arena. It features an eight megapixel uh, rear camera and a five megapixel front camera. It has uh, three gigabytes of RAM, which is actually quite, uh, quite uh, good for devices like this. And it has a decent battery. The resolution of the screen is 1200 by 1920 pixels. So it's actually great for media consumption. Um, it, uh, I have the Wi-Fi only version uh, there's also uh, a 3G uh, uh, GSM version, but uh, I don't have that. Um, you can see the dimensions, the display type, which is an IPS LCD capacitive uh, touch screen. It's a very bright uh, display and it compares very favorably uh, to my, um, to my uh, iPad Mini 4. It runs a version of Android. Actually, on my system, it's actually Android uh, 6.1, I believe, and it has security updates well until uh, up to the summer of 2017. Um, quite a decent uh, GPU and uh, CPU. Um, you can put uh, memory cards uh, inside. You can also uh, install software on it, but I've run into some issues with my uh, Kingston um, 10 speed, speed 10 micro SD cards. Um, actually, the, um, the, 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 the cameras actually work quite well, especially in, uh, 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 especially also in low light conditions, actually. Um, it uh, has WLAN, uh, WLAN, I mean, Wi-Fi, uh, a lot of the Bluetooth options are available. Um, you can also have, uh, it does have a radio, it does have an FM radio. If you put uh, headphones in the unit, it actually comes with an FM radio, which is actually quite cool. Uh, it has a ton of sensors, um, accelerom accelerometers, compass. You can actually use this as a navigation system and just check out that price. And the build quality actually far surpasses any other tablet in this price range. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if this would be twice as expensive. And um, 
this is intended for the Chinese market. Uh, there is a, a similar version out for the Western market, but that's actually quite a bit more expensive, and I believe it uses a Tegrit chipset. Um, it has uh, Dolby Atmos. It really does something with the sound. The sound is a bit thinny when you compare it to, uh, you know, a big bassy. Um, uh, iPad Pro speakers and stuff, but there's there's some good sound in them. You can expand um, the memory uh, by putting in an SD card, and the system actually uh, also supports installing programs to the SD card. But for some reason, I've I've used two SD cards, uh, high speed SD cards, but both actually ended up um, being very laggy. The ones that I used were Kingston SD cards. Uh, you really need um, high-speed SD cards. And you probably are best off not using the install to SD card uh, function feature uh, if you just opt to use it for photos and videos. It, it's probably f fine. Uh, I've opted not to use it. And I've also uh, gotten um, a little case for it, which actually is a magnetic style case. Um, which wakes up and, uh, and, and, and puts to sleep the tablet the moment it, uh, it uh, yeah, and I believe I can get it out of the case. Hold on, I'll get it out of the case for you so you can see it and then I'll put it back. This is what it looks like. It, uh, it actually is about the size of an iPad mini, uh, similar form factor. Uh, it's a bit larger than uh, my Nexus 7, but it, it's a very nice uh, it's a very nice tablet. Uh, yeah, the lighting isn't the best, but uh, it has um, a slot for the micro SD card over here. It has a speaker grill and a microphone grill. Another one speaker grill, uh, microphone, headphone, charging port. And on that side, you have the power button and the volume rocker. And you've got uh, a flash uh, camera. And you've got a camera on this side. And these are actually quite uh, quite, quite good cameras. Uh, the build quality is actually quite excellent. It weighs quite a bit. And the texture is, uh, the plastic is a bit textured. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just a very nice, sensible plastic. But yeah, just put it in this case and it just wakes up and I've, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether or not I've, uh, yeah. It has a very bright display and uh, it, it sports Android uh, tablet, I believe. It runs Android 6.01, and the secu latest security level patch was uh, 1st of July 2017. And I expect uh, Lenovo, because this is a Lenovo tablet, I expect Lenovo to actually put some more updates on it as well. Um, it does feature some Lenovo uh, stuff, but the amount of bloatware actually wasn't that big. Uh, you have you have media settings. If you press this, you can actually change the way the screen looks. You can see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm filming in low light conditions, but uh, there are some presets that you can use to to set the screen. Now, with um, I will show you what I have installed on it. This actually basically is the same layout as I had on my Nexus 7, and it's the same layout that I have on my, or more or less the same lay layout that I have on my phone. So I'm, I'm, I tend to to put the icons in a similar position on the phone. So I have news, I have utilities, I have games, I have internet, you know, uh, file drop. A lot of the same stuff is is on my tablets. I, I like to have them a bit uniform. Uh, news applications, a couple of Dutch news applications, um, camera stuff, uh, a sketching uh, thing, uh, a way to record camera, easy calendar, media. Oh, this is file drop, uh, which I use to uh, transfer files across um, different devices, Android, PC. Um, but media AV, VLC, uh, that's, uh, yeah, just like VLC on the PC. You can uh, access, I can access my NAS and play files, Vitme, Deezer, Netflix, um, Internet. I've got a couple of browsers there, Facebook, Twitter. Um, just 
<laughs> just one game, the Frodo 64 emulator, because, you know, memory is, is a bit tight. Um, now I've got some, uh, some, some uh, quick access things. These are uh, apps that I use all the time. And uh, this is uh, Google. It's a very snappy and very responsive tablet, and uh, I'm I'm actually quite amazed by it. For the price, this is actually a, a great a tablet, and um, it's 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 an honorable, <laughs> honorful, honorable. It's a great replacement for my um, for my Nexus Seven. So yeah, I've I've been using this quite a bit, and if you use a case like this, you know, it's a very sturdy case. Uh, it has a it 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 it, it, it actually. Um, is almost as good as an iPad, I say. <laughs> now, probably will get flamed by Android users, but yeah, this really is a very nice tablet. Eight, in, eight inches, um, yeah, I, I find it just as comfortable as my iPad Mini 4. And I actually, I, uh, I, change, I, change, I, I change around using them, use them intermittently. I'll probably uh, show you uh, how similar actually they are uh, in just a bit. Okay, so here you have my, uh, my it's a bit crusty, my, uh, my iPad uh, 4 mini, of my iPad mini 4, and my Lenovo, and as you can see, they're almost the same size. Both are 8 inch uh, tablets, and the Lenovo opens up like this, and the iPad opens up like that, and uh, yeah, the iPad is a 4x3 uh, aspect ratio, and this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Of course, uh, you can you can actually increase the screen uh, brightness. Uh, I mean, it's, it has a very nice bright screen, um, and the iPad as well. Um, this um, has a resolution of uh, 1920 by 1200. This, of course, is a higher resolution, but uh, when you look up close. It's actually, I mean, you can't, it's, it, you have a hard time distinguishing the pixels anyways. And uh, I think both, both of these um, really work well. And I use them inter intermittently. You know, when this, when this one is charging, I'll use this one. And when this one is charging, I'll use that one. Both have about the same battery life, eight to nine hours uh, most of the time. Uh, I get by with, uh, with a single day. Um, they charge quick pretty quickly. Actually, this one charges faster than this one. Um, yeah, and it's basically the same functionality. Even even the uh, the little flaps, you know, they are they are pretty much identical. And this has uh, a plastic hard plastic uh, finish with uh, with some faux leather back. I believe it's faux leather. And this actually has a silicon back with. Uh, yeah, and this really gets scrubby, so I may have to replace that, but or clean it up. But uh, but yeah, uh, if you're in the market for a, a nice functioning tablet and don't necessarily need a ton of storage, because I have 128 gigabytes internal storage over here, but you can't expand it. This you can expand with an SD card, but I've run into trouble troubles with uh, putting programs on the on the SD card, but using it. The SD card for photos and filming and stuff actually works great, but this is this costs a fraction of what the iPad Mini will cost. This is about half or even less, um, and um, yeah, it's a very good value. And the camera actually isn't the cameras aren't that bad, um, and uh, yeah, I I uh, I think this is a good buy. So I'm quite quite happy with it. The Tab 3 8 Plus. Now, if you uh, if you buy one of these and you want to get a case, make sure that you buy the Tab 3 8 Plus because there's a Western release which looks very similar, but it has the holes and the stuff and then the things. The dimensions are a bit different and the cases won't work. So um, I bought this case at Amazon and they actually contacted me. Are you sure you want to buy for the Tab 8 Plus? Uh, Tab 3.8 Plus because you know well, they said yes yes I, I, yeah it's a Chinese tablet I yeah I'm I'm very certain that I want for, uh, to buy for this specific uh, a case for this specific tablet and it uh, came out all right so uh, so yeah you know I just thought it would be nice to just compare the old Google Nexus 7 
uh, with the Lenovo Tab 38 Plus. Uh, both have a similar form factor. One is replaced by the other. Um, as you can see, um, the, uh, the Nexus 7 doesn't have any cellular connectivity. Uh, the tablet that I have also doesn't have uh, cellular connectivity. Um, there's a five-year uh, gap in between these uh, systems. Um, the dimensions are quite similar and even the weight is actually quite similar. I thought the, uh, the Lenovo, which is on the left, is actually uh, uh, was more heavy than the, the, the Google Nexus 7, but actually the Google Nexus 7 turns out to be quite a bit, uh, a bit more, uh, uh, quite a bit heavier. Um, the display on the, uh, on the Lenovo on the left is actually quite, uh, quite a bit better than uh, the Google Nexus. It, it, does, it did have a very nice screen. Both have a similar color range. Um, actually, the Nexus was a 7-inch tablet, whereas the uh, Lenovo is 8 inches. Um, and the pixel density is also quite, uh, quite uh, a bit higher on the Lenovo. Uh, Multi-touch is allowed on both. Um, uh, the um, the uh, protection uh, on the Nexus uh, unit is a bit better. It's a uh, Gorilla Glass. I don't believe there's any protective glass on the uh, on the Lenovo, uh, and of course um, the Lenovo sports a higher version of Android, whereas uh, uh, the Nexus Seven. Well, it actually probably works best with Jelly Bean or per yeah Jelly Bean Lollipop 5.1.1 really renders the tablet unusable. It's just it it just slows down to a crawl. It will just not function anymore. As you can see, the, uh, the, the chipset is quite different. Um, the, uh, the Lenovo has a Qualcomm uh, CPU, whereas the Nexus has a uh, Tegra 3 chipset, which is actually not that well performing if you compare it to other Nexus uh, uh, Tegra 3 uh, chipset uh, CPUs. And, uh, uh, micro SD slot is happening on the Lenovo. It ain't. It wasn't happening on the Nexus Seven. I believe I have a. I had an eight gigabyte uh, uh, unit, eight gigabyte storage. Well, with the uh, sixteen gigabyte, uh, the Lenovo comes in at uh, twice as uh, large, and uh, yeah, the amount of RAM is also uh, quite a bit uh, uh, more. Um, yeah, you can you can you can use the Lenovo as a navigating system, whereas the the Nexus isn't capable of navigating. The cameras on the Lenovo are just miles better than uh, what you would find on the Nexus Seven. Um, I have yet to had my Nexus Seven vibrate. I don't think it did vibrate. Um, the sound on the Lenovo, I think, is much better than uh, it ever was on the Nexus Seven. And uh, yeah, I for one think it actually is a uh, is a better choice uh, when it comes to uh, to both systems. So yeah, uh, these are the two systems, the two uh, uh, Android tablets that I own. The Nexus Seven sits in a cabinet waiting for eternity. The Lo Lo Lenovo Tab Three Eight Plus is uh, is used every day or every other day with me. And it's only 140 euros or 170 euros. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy cheap. Perhaps because it was intended for the for the uh, Chinese market. But if you are familiar with the uh, Asus uh, Google Nexus 7 build quality, I think the Lenovo Th Tab 3 8 Plus surpasses that. It's actually quite uh, quite a good, quite a well-rounded tablet. Well worth getting if you are not wanting to spend. Um, a whole lot of money for a tablet, but you want a decent tablet. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> Mark signing off, and I'll be back with another video soon.